Now, this was an interesting Monte Carlo simulation, and it was sort of an optimization as well, uh, much more so even than uh, the um, uh, moth stuff. Um, and it was just, it was very interesting in that a, a chemistry professor uh, wanted to assign uh, students to uh, six lab uh, apparatus. Okay, so they were six different, six different types of equipment. Okay, but, you know, so here's, you know, equipment one, two, uh, three, four, five, six. Um, but what he wanted to do was, uh, you know, each, uh, each week assign people to a, didn't really evenly space them very well, um, you know, to a different piece of equipment and have them use each piece of equipment twice during the semester. But, you know, so there's Annie, Billy, Casey, um, you know, and there's three other students and they, they, they would, there were 18 students in the class and, and so he wanted to do this. But then, uh, G, H, I, um, what he wanted to do then, you know, say for the next lab was have, you know, A here, G here, and, uh, well, we need a J there, you know, and say J here. So they'd now be on the next piece of equipment. Uh, they hadn't used it before. Uh, again, at some point they'll, they'll go back through them, but they hadn't used it before and they hadn't worked together before. And so he wanted to know, could he come up with an assignment like this? Well, there are various ways to attack this. Um, uh, and, and I looked at this as well. Uh, I did a simulation as well, but um, the first person to do the simulation with this was uh, a computer science colleague. And so what he did was he just did a simulation of taking 18 people and just randomly assigning them to um, the different equipment uh, each, you know, each time. And then... Um, just gauging, you know, trying to get a, a metric of some kind, you know, how well did it have them working with different people? So it just checked each simulation and said, how well did it do at splitting the people up and having them work with a lot of pe different people? You know, so it just kind of, I, I think we just kind of counted, um, you know, how many times, say, person A worked with the same person and uh, totaled that up, and, and the fewest we could get, um, I think it was on, um, probably the, it was kind of a um, minimize the maximum, you know, because it could be you did really well for one, uh, you know, 15 of the people, but three of the people worked together every single time. Well, that wouldn't be good. And, and so, you, you know, I think what we did was uh, we tried to find the, the um, uh, best case where the worst person, uh, the person who worked with the most people, uh, that was the smallest. And, uh, and just ran that simulation, you know, 10,000 times and found the best one. So that was really sort of a, a, an optimization um, but it was all really based on this Monte Carlo simulation. And the interesting part about this is he had posed that problem, uh, but then there's a thing called the, the um, modeling, uh, I think it's modeling contest in mathematics every year. And this is a, this is a big time contest and, uh, um, you know, they send out a problem, you know, they send out, they would send out two problems that 
you know, a given team could choose from. Well, one of the problems, uh, it wasn't about lab apparatus, but it was about meetings. Okay, you looked at meetings. And, um, but it was basically, it was the same problem. And so that was very interesting that he had posed this problem in the fall. And when the contest came out uh, in January, it was, um, it was the, the same problem. Okay, so that was a simulation.